Welcome collectors, thank you for joining me for this installment of Diecast Emporium. In today's video we're going to be reviewing a classic Norscott model. This is the Caterpillar TH360B Telescopic Candler in 1 to 50 scale. This model originally came out in 2003, so it's going on almost 20 years old by the time I'm filming this review here in 2021. But to date, it is the only Cat 150 scale telescopic handler that has been released to the mass market, so we are long overdue for a new iteration. As you can see, it comes with three attachments, the pallet fork, a bucket, and a material handling arm. There's a picture of the real machine over there, obviously the model inside of the styrofoam. These old Norscott models were always a joy to unbox, and of course I say that extremely sarcastically because they were tied down tighter than Fort Knox with twisty ties. On the back of the box, there's another picture of the model. Over here you can see the different working features, so I'll go through those real quick. 150th scale, triple extension boom, raises and lowers, all wheel steering, wheels roll with actual tread design, left and right stabilizers with pads raise and lower, includes interchangeable general purpose bucket, pallet forks, and material arm work tool attachments. Down here in the bottom right, it's item number 55113 for reference. Now, again, because this was released in the year 2003, honestly, the only way that you can go and find one of these is probably on eBay. I don't believe they fetch that much money. I just think they're a little bit difficult to find, being that they're almost 20 years old. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and start the review. Now, I have had this in my personal collection since 2003 when I purchased it new. Okay, so besides the model, you do have an instructional sheet right here, which again, basically just tells you how to fit the attachments onto the plastic quick coupler. And again, I will go through that as we go through the model review. I have obviously, since I've had this since 2003, I have already taken all the twist ties out, so we don't have to fight with those. Here's the bucket. Here's our telescopic handler, and here is our material handling arm. All right, allow me just a minute. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have all the packaging and stuff out of the way, and we'll begin the review. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break. All right, everyone, thank you for sticking with me. So we've got the model in front of us. Let's start out with taking a look at the decal application. Again, we're talking about 2003, so it doesn't have the highest quality of decals that you would see today uh, on the Diecast Masters models, but it's still very decent. So you have Cat here, and you do have the, the red line era, if you will. Talking about, of course, the late 90s, early 2000s trade dress. Back here you have TH360B on the back. Caterpillar, and some simulated decals for lights. On the back of the window, you have Caterpillar. And over here, pretty much the same thing you did on the other side. Your TH360B, Cat. Cat over here, and on the front, Cat right here. All right, on to the functionality. As the box said, it does have four-wheel steering, so you can set some pretty aggressive steering angles on here which I always loved on this model, as you can see here. And although the steering is perhaps not as proportionate as it should be, it's still decent enough, and you can pose the model turning in an aggressive angle. Also, if you really wanted to, you can have this in crab steering, although, again, not particularly realistic for this type of machine, but you can do it if you want to. Taking a look underneath, again, if you guys want to see what that looks like, you can get a good look at the tread pattern. The base reads, Norscott Group Incorporated, made in China, and a model number of 3043. Okay, let's get this machine set up for working. Now, you don't necessarily have to put the outriggers down, but if it's in a station position, we'll go ahead and demonstrate that the outriggers do lower. Now, the pads... The actual outrigger feet, they are metal, and it's strong enough that it will hold the front part of the machine slightly off the ground. You can see that the pointer is underneath it. 
Let's raise the arm up. The arm will go up that high, which again is very respectable. We're going to move this back because now we're going to extend the telescopic sections, which is where this machine gets the name from. Here's the first section, and there's the second section. So as you can see, at full extension, the machine remains steady. Let's go ahead and move this down as well. So there you go. That looks a little bit more realistic. Now the attachments, the back part of the fork is metal, but the actual pallet forks themselves, those are plastic. But again, it still looks really good. This cylinder right here is metal, which is why it holds the load really well, as you can see. So let's go ahead and show you that the implements can be changed out. So let's put the material handling arm on. Go ahead and take this off. And again, you want to be really careful with this due to the fact that it is very old. You don't want to break anything, obviously. So you want to pull out and down. We'll put the material handling arm on. Same thing. And there you go. So now we have the material handling attachment on, which also looks very good. Now I believe this does extend as well, or retract. So you can have it fully retracted or extend it all the way out. There you go. We'll put the last attachment on, which is the bucket. That clips on like so. And we will lower this to show you how this works. Put up our outriggers. And you can dump the bucket, curl the bucket back, or as it's a four in one bucket, you can open and close it just like that. So there you go, collectors. That's a review of the classic Norscott Caterpillar TH360B telescopic handler in 150 a scale. Have to say, overall, this is a great classic model. As I said in the beginning, introductory part of the video segment. I would love to see Diecast Masters do a new version of this in 150 scale, just because enough time has passed that we are way overdue to see a current generation of these. Now, there have been telescopic handlers done recently in 132 scale, but again, nothing in the primary 150th scale. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next review.